Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, where I share tips and tricks on how to grow beautiful plants in your home. Today, we have a very exciting topic to discuss, Anthuriums. These tropical beauties have captured the hearts of indoor and outdoor gardeners alike. In this video, we will explore everything you need to know about Anthuriums, from their origins and care tips to propagation and common issues. So, let's dive in. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's start with the basics. Anthuriums, also called as flamingo flowers, are a genus of flowering plants native to the tropical regions of the Americas. Their unique feature is their striking, heart-shaped flowers that come in a wide range of colors, including red, pink, white, and even green. Caring for anthuriums may seem a bit challenging, but fear not. With the right approach, you can keep these beauties thriving. These plants thrive in warm, humid environments, making them ideal for indoor cultivation. Here are a few essential care tips to keep in mind. Anthuriums prefer bright, indirect light. Avoid placing them in direct sunlight, as it can scorch their leaves. So placing them near a north or east facing window is ideal. Anthuriums thrive in temperatures between 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. They love high humidity, so misting their leaves regularly or placing a humidifier nearby can be beneficial. It's crucial to strike a balance when it comes to watering anthuriums. Allow the top inch of soil to dry out between waterings, but don't let the plant completely dry out. Overwatering can lead to root rot, so be mindful of the watering frequency. Anthuriums prefer well-draining soil that retains some moisture. A mixture of peat moss, perlite, and orchid bark works well for these plants. If you're interested in expanding your anthurium collection, propagation is an excellent way to do so. Let's briefly touch upon the two most common propagation methods for anthuriums, division and stem cuttings. Division involves separating the offshoots or pups from the mother plant and planting them in separate containers. Ensure that each division has roots and a few leaves to ensure successful growth. Stem cuttings, on the other hand, are taken from the healthy stems of mature anthuriums. Make a clean cut just below a node and place the cutting in a moist soil mix or water until roots develop. Remember, patience is key when propagating anthuriums. It may take some time for the new plants to establish themselves. Lastly, let's discuss some common issues that anthuriums may face and how to address them. Keep an eye out for common houseplant pests such as aphids, mealybugs, and spider mites. Regularly inspect your plants and use organic insecticides or neem oil to control infestations. If you notice yellowing leaves, it could indicate overwatering or insufficient light. Adjust your watering schedule and consider moving the plant to a brighter location. Anthuriums can be susceptible to fungal diseases like root rot. Ensure proper drainage and avoid overwatering to prevent such issues. By being proactive and attentive to your anthurium's needs, you can prevent and address these issues effectively. And that's a wrap on our complete guide to anthuriums. From their beautiful heart-shaped flowers to their unique care requirements, these plants have rightfully earned their place in the hearts of plant enthusiasts worldwide. Whether you are a seasoned gardener or just starting your plant journey, anthuriums are sure to bring a touch of tropical elegance to your collection. As always, if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with anthuriums, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and happy gardening!